welcome everybody to the Downtown Podcast. Thanks for joining us live audience and thanks for those who are watching or listening back home. Now you might be wondering why I'm wearing a mustache. I'm actually going to take it off because it feels really weird. But this is actually... Really weird. Um, <laughs> and the thing is I can normally grow a mustache but it looks kind of pathetic. It doesn't fill in properly. So yeah, it's really sad. It's really sad. So and moving on, this episode is actually focused around Movember which is a wonderful cause and charity that we'll be talking about. And so... Um, this is why we have the mustaches going on. So I'm here with Tyler for our community segment. And Tyler, you're a fungineer at Zappos, right? Which is the best position I've ever heard of. Yeah, it's a, it's a really a hard job at Zappos. Uh, <laughs> fungineering is tough. So. You get to come up with all the cool stuff that we get to participate in, which is awesome. And so you, you, you do that by day, but you're also actively participating in Movember, which we'll talk about in a second. Yeah, you can um, tell because I've got the, I'm growing a mustache. It was really fast, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's grown so fast. So um, when, when you actually got involved in Movember, you've kind of seen this grow over time, right? And, and the thing is that I'm not sure whether you're even aware where Movember actually started, though. That's the only problem. Do you know where Movember started? I do, actually. So the reason why I asked you is because I'm just trying to show off the fact that Melbourne in Australia, my hometown, was the one that first had a Movember, right? Is that correct? Uh, well, no, that's not correct. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it actually started in Adelaide, which is, um, is, is close. It's still in Australia, but they right. started the tradition. But Melbourne okay. actually created the... Um, the foundation. So um, they had the idea, but uh, you're right. You guys can take credit for actually putting the work behind the idea and starting the foundation. So. I feel like that sounds a little more legit, right? Like we yeah. actually did the hard work. We didn't just grow mustaches and kind of like come up with the idea. <laughs> well, I mean, everybody has to capitalize on somebody else's hard work, right? <laughs> right. Okay. So <laughs> enough about hipster Melbourne and everything. But you know, it doesn't matter where it started because the U.S. has a really good chapter, and Las Vegas has a, a particularly inspiring chapter. And you're aware of the story of kind of how we've grown in that aspect, right? Yeah, it's actually really cool. Um, so Movember's been in Las Vegas for um, quite a few years. Uh, it's been a very low participation city uh, okay. for a long time until last year. All of a sudden, poof, it was like this huge explosion of of. Uh, of Movember interest and participation and awareness. Um, last year, which is really cool, um, Las Vegas was the highest growth year over year city in the entire Movember network in the entire world. That's incredible. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy, that's right? Really uh, awesome. That's all of a sudden Movember was on the map. So I think that's a huge, a huge thing for the community. Um, and I think it's directly responsible, the community is responsible for fostering the environment that that could happen in. So um, so what do you think actually like happened? Like, you know, there's always been people that live in Las Vegas, but like what has been the difference in the community aspect behind growing that so quickly? Well, I remember when I was first exposed to Movember, um, I had no idea what it was. Um, and I went to this little um, final Movember party in, at the downtown cocktail room. Okay. And it was really sad. There was like 10, 15 people there. Uh, and, uh, but it was cool. I was like, wow, this okay. is neat. Movember, uh, people are growing mustaches, which is cool. And then um, at that time, downtown Las Vegas was really just starting to get a hold of the momentum of everything starting to happen down here. Um, and I think what was happening is the, the groundwork, the foundation was being laid uh, for an environment that could foster a huge explosion that happened last year. Um, and I think last year was just such a crazy explosion year because um, all that, all the, all the groundwork that had been laid was 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 ready, and it was actually pretty easy for it to to do its thing. And so that's why I would I would say that we were the largest growth city um, in the entire November network uh, was because um, it was actually pretty easy to get the ideas around and and bump into people, and people were like. Tyler, why is there no f hair on your face? You know, and that's as, that's that's what it's all about—is starting that's the wonderful. conversation. That's really cool, and it's a great testament to how you know community growing in Vegas is is about a lot of things. It's about entrepreneurship. It's it's about um, just networking and things like that. But it's also about helping people for a cause and, and actual finding the deeper meaning of community as well. I think that's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. 
So the one question I have to ask you, though, is that this isn't like a mustache. It's kind of more of a beard and looks very established, right? And so, so I'm the worst. The I'm I'm the worst a mobro that there is. I uh, I hate shaving my facial hair off. I actually, uh, I I do everything I can to avoid it. And last year, Aziz was like, "Hey, Tyler, I would like you to participate in some way." And I said. I haven't shaved my facial hair in 13 years. I don't even know what my upper lip looks like. 13 years, people. That's insane. Yeah. And it's probably changed in 13 years. My upper lip probably is like something that's really weird. <laughs> it's gotten like long and droopy. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he said, well, what if I set the, the price for your, must, for your facial hair at $2,500? And I said, uh, yeah, that's fine, because nobody we're not going to raise $2,500 for my <laughs> facial hair. And of course, right. in one hour, they raised one it. One hour? People are that desperate to see this beard disappear. That's They that's hate amazing. it. They just hate it, I guess. <laughs> so what was that like? This was last year, right? Like, what was that like? Uh, I actually lost all of my self-confidence. I did not know who I was. I really couldn't look at people in the eye anymore. Uh, it was actually a really horrible uh, experience, but um, it was all for a great cause. Um, but I would say that's the point, right? right. Uh, the point behind it is it got me in a very uncomfortable, vulnerable state, which mm -hmm. is what men's health is all about. Absolutely. It's uncomfortable right. to talk about. And that's what Movember is about. It's about raising awareness for men's health issues, um, for the particular vulnerabilities that men go through with their health. And, and forcing them in an already uncomfortable position where it's easy to consider those kind of things, right? Yeah, I mean, it's not just about, a lot of people say, Movember, oh, it's uh, testicular cancer. Mm -hmm. um, well, that's just a part of it. It's um, depression that uh, a lot of men uh, suffer. It's going to the dentist, you know? Things like um, men, I don't know what it is, but we don't like to go to the doctor. Right. Uh, we hate it. And well, you'll uh, socialize that you're just meant to be tough enough to just never need any help, right? Yeah. And, then, and, and what happens is, Movember offers an opportunity for those conversations to happen because it's, I've never seen you with a mustache before. What's going on? Or I've never <laughs> right. seen your upper lip before. What's going on? And it starts those conversations uh, to raise the awareness about those uncomfortable conversations um, for people to have. So I would say I celebrate Movember in a much different way by auctioning mm -hmm. off my facial hair. Um, but I think it accomplishes the same goal. Absolutely. We lose so many men a year in Nevada as well due to um, depression and, and anxiety and other related mental issues. So it's a wonderful thing to highlight. And I love that Las Vegas and the downtown community especially is, is kind of showing that inspiration to other cities to kind of try and match us or better us to, to move this forward. That's awesome. Yeah. And uh, on that note, um, Last year, actually, I have to say this because um, Zappos is owned by Amazon, but <laughs> last year, Amazon, uh, Zappos, our largest team, ro uh, raised, uh, raised more money than Amazon's uh, largest team. So uh, I think that's awesome. huge. And, and you know, that's why we do it, because it's all about competing with Amazon and making sure we're better. Right. So. I mean, I, mean, I will. I will be <laughs> I'm not the first to admit that the only reason why we invite them to our donut eating contest is so that we can then beat them and just, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And, and also, the one thing you didn't question bef uh, be answer before we finish out is what's the bounty on your beard this year? It's $5,000. So uh, $5,000. Last time I checked, the uh, Movember numbers were getting really, really close to that. <laughs> so it's probably coming off in here in a couple days. So <laughs> you guys won't see me for a while. I'll just stay home. <laughs> well, my commiserations, and thank you so much for coming on and talking about this. And uh, don't go away. We'll be back after the break. And thank you so much, Tyler, for being on the show. <laughs> my pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>